guys since i arrived here i have not seen people doing social distancing <laughs> i don't know i i can see even three people sitting together like if there was social distancing then it means the three seater should the two people should occupy the three, three seater i mean like like this seat like this seat here should not have anyone you know if like any someone is sitting on the third seat this seat here should not have anyone I think that is what social distancing means, right? Anyway, we will see. People are still coming in. Maybe someone will not sit here. That will be safe. But on other seats over there, I can see three people sitting together. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that is social distancing for me. God. Or maybe the virus here is different of... <laughs> I don't understand. I just don't understand. Anyway, guys, it's time to catch up with things happening here. Guys, this thing is huge. Let me let me show you around. I don't know if it's allowed, but I will just have to take the risk of showing you around. Guys, there is like, I don't know, one, two, three, three rows. Huh? This thing is huge, super huge. It's super huge. I've never taken a big aeroplane like this before, by the way. In all my travels, I think <laughs> today I'm so amazed. I'm astonished. Let me use that word because, eh, no, I've never seen such a huge, huge, huge. Okay, I've seen it maybe in the movies, <laughs> but I've never experienced, you know, sitting. Eh, they have charger. They have chargers. Wow. That's interesting. They have chargers. I will show you that one later. But for now, I just want to show you the big aeroplane that I'm boarding. Ethiopian Airways. Yeah? It's so huge. I have this gadget here. Yeah. I can go up and go back. Go back. You can have to choose your language. After choosing the language. then you can decide if you like movies if you like connect whatever it is so many things to choose from games let me go for movies because guys i'm not a movie person let me go for blockbusters i'm not really a movie person but i would like something that i can really concentrate on so when, when you're having this gadget what they usually do they will bring for you some earphones or headphones they usually give earphones so that you can listen to it you know without making a lot of noise i don't i don't know where that music is coming from by the way because that's ethiopian music and when i don't understand music it becomes irritating in my ears I need to relax after running in the airport the whole the whole afternoon. Yeah, so this is the gadget. This is the good things that comes with flying. Eh? You find your gadget here, you cool your nerves, watch a movie before they bring you something to eat. You can charge your phone from down here, by the way. This this one. Yeah. There's a port here. Yeah, you can charge your phone from there. These ones are for headphones or earphones, as you can call them. And for charging is here. So you can always be, your phone can always be charged and you'll be entertained here. Guys, I'm, I'm still astonished. This huge plane, you know, it's, I, I'm really shocked. Like, I've never used a big aeroplane since I started traveling with aeroplanes, I've been using like those small aeroplanes or maybe medium ones. But these huge, huge, huge ones with three, these are three rows. I have never used them. Like I have never even imagined I can ever 
get myself in such a plane. It's so huge. I mean, too huge. I usually see these kind of aeroplanes in the in the movies. <laughs> so, so today, guys, I'm not sure about this music in the background, really. I really need to stop talking now because it can be taken as a copyright. Later, guys. Guys, there's an uh, announcement going on, but they're giving announcement in Al Am Amharic. Ladies and gentlemen, Amharic. Now in English. Avoid touching the face mask once it's on. Cover your nose and mouth with your bent elbow or tissue paper when sneezing and coughing. Avoid touching guys, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. Frequently clean your hands by using soap and, and water or alcohol face sanitizer. Dispose your sanitizer and disposable face mask and trash, trash beans and then wash your hands. Limit movement and touching surface next to practical during the flight to reduce exposure. If you are required to change your seat, come get one of the crew after boarding is completed. Do not wait, do not queue in the cabin laboratory around the galley. When you walk around the cabin, keep your distance. In addition to use the laboratory, always look at the capacity size. Check your assigned seat and avoid unnecessary movement in the cabin. Practicing recommended protective precautions vital to stay healthy and productive. Thank you. I heard something like a uh, social distance and I'm like <laughs> really <laughs> okay I don't know because some people are like three of them in the same seat the seats are three so there's supposed to be two people in between no one should sit there but some people are three in the same seat and I'm like why are they telling us to maintain social distancing when, you know, when three people are sitting together? You know, that kind of confusion that comes when you are traveling. Like, maybe you, you, you think that you want to be the one who, you know, following the laws. You will get confused. Just when you are traveling, do what you can do. Don't look at what other people are doing. Just do what you can do. If it's covering your nose, cover your nose. If you're having, like now we have too many gadgets here. You know. There are too many gadgets. You are holding your bags in the airport. You are doing so many things. So you always, always have to sanitize. You know, like keep on sanitizing. Like my, <coughs> my friend who is sitting on this, she's not my friend, but anyway, let me call her my friend because I've just met her now. I've been talking to her and she doesn't know English. She, she's telling me that she's been living in the UAE for for five years. <laughs> she's been working here for five years and now she's going back. She doesn't know English. All she knows is uh, Al-Muharik, which is the Ethiopian language. And uh, I see you. <laughs> Amharic and Arabic. So I've been talking to her in Arabic and she's been telling me that She's been here for five good years and she's putting on gloves because they did not even provide hand sanitizer. You know, there's some things that, you know, your boss doesn't have to do for you everything. There's some things you just have to, you don't have to take care of yourself, you know. Because me, I'm, I've told you, I'm not surprised that no one has even called me all the way since I came from Abu Dhabi until Dubai. I've boarded, I've done everything. Thank you so much. Wow, guys, the earphones are here. The earphones are here. My earphones, I packed them in the big suitcases because I knew by the end of the day, I will get new, new ones. They're here, now I will enjoy my movie. So back to what I was saying. I hope you people will hear me because hey, the music. So, what was I saying? I was saying, it's good to take care of yourself. You don't have to wait for your boss to come and take care of everything. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The girls are here. Beautiful Ethiopian girls. They are here closing the baggages uh, up there. Which means it's almost time for us to 
to live. So this lady, she's telling me that she's putting on gloves and her hands are sweating, you know. And she's been here for five years. You know, she has never traveled. She doesn't know what is happening out there, you know, about this corona issue. So she did not even remember to carry the sanitizer, you know. But anyway, that is life. Because, you know, here you have to touch things. You have to, when you're putting things up there, you don't know how many people have been here. You know, all these gadgets we are touching, you don't know. So you just have to take care anyway. So we are almost guys. And I think there's some announcements first before we leave. They start with Al Amharic. They start with Amharic first. Because it's an Ethiopian airline. So they're expecting a lot of Ethiopian nationalities here, which is true. When I look around, I just see many of them because you, know, you just look at the physical features, then you understand these are Ethiopians. You know, their hairs, their skin, everything about them is very different. Like Ethiopians, Somalis, uh, Eritreans, they, they look the same. So because many of them are here, when they are making announcements, they have to to start with their language first. Then after that, they will speak in English. If you are taking a plane from Kenya, they will start in Swahili, then English, when they are doing the announcements. When you are taking an Arabian airline, they will start with uh, Arabic, then English. You understand? So guys, I left in a hurry. I did not even put on my earrings, but they are here in my bag. So after this video, I will put them on. And then, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The we journey will continue. We would like to welcome you again aboard the Ethiopian Airlines members challenge by number since she came here she's just talking 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 to herself yeah that is life that is life i'm just excited i'm going home oh. and why do we leave home in the first place if you know that we we'll really miss home why would you leave home <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy the things we do for life it's so crazy guys Guys, I'm sitting on the wing. I don't think I like that feeling. You know, like when the aeroplane is up in the sky and all you can see is that wing, you start overthinking. Actually, I don't want to say the things that come in my mind, 
I don't want to talk about that right now. One day I will draw a video on that. <laughs> it's crazy. You're just thinking about stuff. You are up there in the sky. And that time you don't know which country you are in. Because when you are up there, you're just up there. All you can see is that wing and the clouds. And those clouds, they look like sheep, white sheep, you know. When you look down, you just see like sheep. Like these sheep are grazing or something. <laughs> they are clouds. So it's better to look at the clouds and down there than to look at that wing. That wing is very scary. I don't like sitting at the wing. I hate it. It gives me a bad feeling. Like seriously. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Guys, see this wing. I'm just sitting on the wing. So that means <laughs> when you are up there in the sky, all you will be seeing is just the wing beside you. You know. It's very scary. You'll start imagining those horror horror movies that you see someone maybe someone flying on the wing or you know those movies you start imagining so many things hmm? i don't like this wing sitting on the wing oh my god but anyway let, let me have that experience for today and see how it will go yeah it's a big one see it's a big one huge god very capable hands of the user and wish you all a pleasant journey to sit back, relax and enjoy all the onboard creature comforts that we have to offer you today. Oh my god. Guys, we are moving now. You know like when this thing moves, it's like a big bus moving. You know those big bus from Mombasa or from Kisumu to Nairobi? <laughs> <laughs> That's the feeling. Kindly, if you understand, if you understand that language, kindly comment below and tell me what are they really saying because I don't understand. Unless they speak English, I don't understand. Kindly, <laughs> some people are laughing me from behind. They are talking to Ethiopians. They are not talking to us. Okay, English is here. Thank you. All exits are marked with the ring, with the green and white signs, floral, mounted photo photo luminescent light strips will lead you to the escape path along the aisle to the nearest emergency exit. In the event of an emergency, please assume the, the brace position. Cross your wrist, lean forward with your hands on the seat in front of you and rest your head on your arms. For those of you who find this difficult, bend down. Wrap your arms under your knees and get your head as low as possible and place your feet flat on the floor. More information on safety features is given on the safety card. Which so guys, I was... The, the announcement is over. And the announcement part is the most scariest part. That... <laughs> when you want to fly and you have that excitement and everything, and they come, you know, explaining a few things that you know you have already done everything you are in your comfort seat and then they come and start telling you if something happens do this remove the jacket like this put it on if something happens do that and and you're, in your mind is like they really pay for all this stuff <laughs> you, know? you know they start putting ideas in your mind so because of this i become nervous you know, I, I just don't want to hear anything negative when I'm traveling. 
I just want to like sit back and you know enjoy. But you know they're just telling you in case of anything, this is how you know you should take care of yourself. The way jackets come up and stuff like that. So it, it gives you that negative negativity. There's some negativity in your head, so you start thinking like you, you not really feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You not really feel comfortable. Anyway, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, by now we should be leaving. So I don't know what they are waiting for, but I feel like the plane is moving already. But also in my mind, I'm thinking, how can this heavy plane move? You know, like how can it fly? Because this plane is heavy. It's huge. It's it's massive. It's too huge. The way it will just leave the land and then go up and then stay up for three and a half hours is something that I'm trying to imagine in my head. And then we land safely, you know. Anyway, I'm hoping the plane that I will take from Addis Ababa to Nairobi will be a bit smaller. Because when it's smaller, I can't think a lot, you know, I can't start imagining a lot. But when it's big and huge, you know those movies that sometimes you watch and you're like, <laughs> I think the movies are the ones for spoiling my, I'm not a movie person, but if I happen to watch one blockbuster about big planes, if you have ever watched a movie about the big huge planes, you know what I'm talking about. Everything naughtiest, those naughtiest moments, they always happen in these big planes because they are carrying a lot of people from everywhere. You don't know who, who is who, you know, and then, you know, things might start happening and I don't want to think about that. Anyway, let me stay positive, guys. Let me just stay positive and do this story and finish this story. I'm going to stay in Addis Ababa for three hours before I leave for Nairobi. So, guys, here we go. So guys, we are moving. And I'm trying to chat my friends and tell them bye.
drawers. You can see every drawer they, they put one. They, they have an earphone inside, one paper bag to vomit inside, and then the instructions, safety instructions, it's there. Even in the other one, you can see also it has an envelope and safety instruction. Last, you can take your time and start reading it because honestly, something can happen. You never know. Some people will just fly by the grace of God. Hi. Yeah. So, this is how it looks like. So guys, there's internet in the aeroplane, but for you to use this internet, you have to pay. <laughs> so, from Dubai to Addis Ababa, they, they give you a promo code. The promo code is, is on our ticket, so you have to enter your code here. It's good to change your phone into flight mode when you're flying. I had forgotten to change it, now I have changed it. Location, I don't need location now. Maybe I should put it on just in case. Uh, it, it needs to be on for, for me to get a, a, a clear Google timeline. You know that the way Google will always tell you how many miles you have cleared, where you have been, where you are, and stuff like that. I have a timeline on Google and it gives me all this information. Guys, it's time to eat. I don't know if it's this is lunch or dinner, <laughs> but I think it should be lunch come dinner. So here we have have some salads here. It's a mixture of corn and red beans. Corn and red beans. Then we have the bread. We have some water and uh, uh -oh. a cranberry, like a waffle. This one is like a waffle or maybe a chocolate or I don't know if it's not chocolate, maybe vanilla waffle, something like that. And then we have some biscuits. Then we have the cheese for the bread. Yeah. For those who will not mind, you know, eating like an African, just chop, just dig in with your hands. <laughs> Come on. We are in the aeroplane right now. We can try to yeah, westernize a little bit. So the main food is here. Oh my God. This is rice and chicken. Saluna. Then this is my, this is Sprite, this is Sprite, and then guys, guess what this is, hmm? guess what this is, red wine, this one is usually taken after food, it's been ages since I took wine, so I'm gonna take that one, and by the way, I am having to because my neighbor here was given wine and she didn't know what it was <laughs> so she was trying to return it back but you know I just captured it I'm like hey come on it's wine we paid for it hello yeah so I'm gonna take my wine when I finish eating my food I'm going to take my wine as I continue watching my movie as you can see I post the movie This is how it was going, the movie. So I post it a little bit. Pause. I have to put it on pause first. I dig in in this thing. After digging in, you know, I can't eat all these. For those people who know me, they know I really don't eat that much. Yeah, I can't finish all this rice. It's too much. This. Then bread. Salad and then the, this is too much for me. But let me just try my best to remove my mask and just dig in. So, guys, I just wanted to show you how food is always served. And by the way, I was trying to take the video of the girl 
who was coming to serve me I didn't really take her face I was just you know just trying to show the trolley coming in but when she reached here she was like why are you filming me I was like no I'm not filming you and she's like bring uh, give me your camera I want to see I gave her the camera and you know she just saw me you know just taking the the video of the trolley and she was like no it's not allowed i can see my blouse i can see my hands in the video i'm like i didn't i didn't show your face but anyway i just told her just delete it just to <coughs> to avoid issues you know yeah so this is going to be my life in the next i don't know how many years of vlogging sometimes these are the challenges that people go through especially when you are traveling you know me i'm a traveler this is just the beginning of everything. I've not even traveled. I've not shown you around. I've not really shown you around. I've done some videos you can check on my YouTube channel about Egypt. When I was in Egypt, I had not started YouTube. So I didn't do a lot of filming and everything. But what I captured in Egypt, especially in Cairo, Uganda, Alexandria, all those cities that I went to, everything that I captured there, be it the pictures or whatever I had to you know put them all together like combine them and make a video out of it so the video is on my YouTube channel this YouTube channel and then I also made another one about Saudi Arabia which I just released recently and in fact I released today in the morning that one of Saudi Arabia I didn't do much videos but the pictures that I took there you know those covered with a buyer and everything <laughs> yeah I shared that on my YouTube <laughs> there's another one that I did about uh, Abu Dhabi and there's, a, there's another one that I'm hoping that maybe soon I will do another one about Dubai my visit in Dubai I've not done that one but I have a few clips here and there. I will put them together, combine the pictures, and make a very nice video out of that. Meanwhile, let me sit here and enjoy my food, my movie, my wine. After all the struggle, after all the running in the airport, after all the... It has been so hectic. And I'm still on the way. When I reach Addis Ababa, I don't know what to expect, honestly. In the middle of the night, waiting three hours to get another flight. I don't know. I didn't expect this. After all these years, I just thought that maybe I could get a good send, send off. You know, like, get the best flight. Thank you for everything and all that, you know. Nothing. I didn't expect this, like, honestly. It's so tiring to get a flight that will, you know, like if you get a, a direct flight from Dubai or from Abu Dhabi to Kenya, it's only four hours. You, know, you just enjoy your flight in four hours, you are home. But this one of going from from Dubai to, to Ethiopia, stay for four hours or three hours or wherever, and then get another one. It's so tiring. By the time you're in Nairobi, you are just too tired. You know, too tired. Because imagine staying in the middle of the night in Addis Ababa. Like, seriously? Like, did I really deserve this? Anyway, I wasn't very happy about this journey because I had never, I had not prepared for it. And it came just abruptly and I had no option. Actually, I had no option. Because the options I gave, they were not taken. I thought that maybe I will stay for up to the end of the month. But things just happened so fast and I had to leave. <clears throat> but I expected at least a nice flight so that I can enjoy going back home. After all, after all... Anyway, I'm not really happy. Let me just eat my food, enjoy the movie, and by the end of the day, I'll be home. Who cares, anyway? I just have to care about myself. I don't expect other people to care about me. No. Guys, by the way, I want to explain something about the food that is given in the aeroplane. Thank you. 
Ethiopia at this particular time they would have served me with Ethiopian food. If I would have been traveling from Kenya going to another country, they would serve me Kenyan food. Like for example in Kenyan Airways there was a time I was traveling from Nairobi to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. They served us Ugali. They were having Ugali, they were having chapati, they were having rice. But cooked in a Kenyan way. You understand? So every time you get in the aeroplane, the food that they will serve you is cooked from where you are coming from. And then secondly, they serve food according to the time. Like for example, if it's in the morning, they will serve you the Arabian like right now I'm coming from Dubai, they will serve you Arabian breakfast. So I was coming from Kenya in the morning, they will serve you the Kenyan food. That's how they do it. Like, there was a time I traveled from Abu Dhabi to Muscat, Oman. They served me the Arabian breakfasts, the UAE breakfasts that morning. Then when from Muscat to Nairobi, they served us the Oman food. It's still the Arabian food, but cooked in the Oman way. You know, there's a way they cook it. You just feel this food is different. That's why I was telling you guys that traveling makes you, you know, you have to learn a lot of things, like testing this kind of food. When you test it, you will definitely know this one is cooked from somewhere else. And then there was a time I was traveling from, from Addis Ababa to Kenya, and it was after lunchtime, and they served me the
always washroom and as you can see there's the sink with the soap uh, place for cold water and for hot water sanitizer is here the tissues are up here uh, some other tissues are up here others are down here wow it looks very very interesting Very well, and being in an open 
they will just tell you with their mouth like oh my god you are the best oh my god everyone will miss you oh my then give me something good i mean guys <laughs> it's really touching honestly i'm happy that i'm going home yes i'm happy that i'm going home but the send off i don't know i i can't say more than that but i'm sure even my face can tell imagine i had to driven all the way from Abu Dhabi because the Abu Dhabi airport is closed so I had to be driven all the way to Dubai those are around two hours but in arriving to Dubai I had to sign in and everything you know they refused my bag I had to go and buy another bag all those things I was just running all over the airport <coughs> it was so crazy now after that I checked in and everything by the time I'm getting into the air, the airport on the aeroplane is, I had taken more than, I think more than four hours. No one called me to know if I'm safe. No one called me to know if the taxi, what happened on the road. And in my videos, guys, you've seen that one, that taxi guy that took me from home is not the one that took me to the airport. They exchanged in between. What if something would have happened to me? I don't know. Maybe I would have called, but what would have happened? I mean, I just don't want to say, say much. But it's okay. These things happen. But you know, when someone that has been there for you, when you are sending them off, sometimes it's good just to check on them. You know, it doesn't cost much. Even if it costs, but it doesn't cost much just to write them and, you know, ask them. Where have you reached? Are you okay? Have you boarded? Have you checked in? You know. <laughs> I don't know. For me, when someone is traveling, I'm, I'm always like curious. I want to know. Where have you reached? Okay. When you reach at the airport, call me. Okay. Have you boarded? Have you checked in? Have you, you know? Okay. Are you sitting in the airplane? Good. When you arrive, write me back. You know. It's just being human. It's just being human, really. But as I said earlier, I said that I understand because people are not the same. People are different. So it's not a blame game here. It's not a blame game here. For those people who are coming in the Middle East, expect this kind of treatment sometimes because it's normal. so personal because by the end of the day this is not your mother this is not your father this is not your uh, <laughs> your brother they're different people you came here for a reason and you're living for a reason so it's okay you just keep it but i just felt like i should say it because i feel like it's it was just inside me and even if i get to kenya i won't say anything like i won't write to anyone telling them oh i safe or anything i'll just keep quiet and wait and see if i get a message i will let you know if i want i will still let you know <laughs> so guys we just remain with a few minutes and you can see me i had yellow inside so now i've added red car Yeah. Uh -huh.